Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the top of the lines, best fifth wheels in the entire RV industry. This is a 2022 Van Lee Beacon model 42 RDB. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features. Then, we're gonna give you three things we love about the Beacon and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Tobles. It's World Sewing Channel giving you a true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I'm super excited that we have our first Van Lee on the show, The Beacon. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going? It's going good. We're still here at Carolina Coach. I'm actually here with my friend Jay. Hey Jay, how's it going? Going great. So he just sold this beacon. Yes. And we figured what better person to help go through it with us than him. Yes, Jay, thank you so much for being on the show. Do you have an extension here at Carolina Coach? Yes, it's a 232. Perfect. So if you want to work with Jay, which is like their Van Lee expert or their fifth wheel expert, make sure you ask for him when yes. you call Carolina Coach. Yes. Will, let's begin. All right, thanks. Follow me, Jay. So before we, I'm going to let you take over, but first I got to go over specs. Model is the 42 RDB. The dry weight is 16,400 pounds and the hitch weight is 3,680 pounds. Jay, that has to be one of the biggest, that's probably, well, that's, that's the biggest fifth wheel on the show yeah, so far. Yeah, heaviest, for Yeah, sure. heaviest for sure. So Jay, tell us what we got going on up here. So with, uh, with the Van Lee Beacon, of course, uh, full body paint. Standard? Beacon, Beacon is standard, okay. full body paint. Um, automotive gel coat type finish. So okay. it's gonna hold up for a while. Uh, got the nice roto flex. Yes, from Lippert Component. Absolutely. We're a huge fan of Lippert. They now sponsor the show. And the roto flex is definitely one of their best pin boxes. Yes. And then underneath here, we do have some storage. So what do we got going on under here? So under here, you're going to have naturally your battery storage, your liquids. This is for your generator. Generator cool. prepped. Okay. And I do see that it is six point hydraulic auto leveling. Absolutely. Perfect. Love it. And I love how it's a slam latch door I know, right there. Rather than the twisties. Yep. Coming on down the side here, we do got your propane tanks. Perfect. And then we got some storage here. Wow. That's great storage. Yes. Battery disconnect switch there. Uh, centralized vac. Central vac, TV hookup for the outside. Now, Jay, can you tell us a little bit about like the construction of this? So your, your construction on these units, uh, they're, they're very well built. Uh, one of Tiffin's claims is actually to take home with you. Okay. A very solid unit. If you look up underneath here, you can actually see the aluminum used. Yes. How it's built. These are actually 12 inch on center. Okay. So you've got a good solid floor. Um, your walls, of course, 16 on center, just like you would a house. Wow. So built like a house. Correct. I love it. Frameless windows throughout the whole fifth wheel. And the full body paint looks absolutely amazing. It does. And then something that I'm seeing that I'm liking is a, a nice power awning with LED lights right there. And an awning on that slide yeah. out. And even though that's a small slide out, they still put the awning on it. I like that, yeah. Coming on down the side here, look at these slipper solid steps. With the hydraulic assist, so right. you can raise it and lower it with one hand. And I haven't seen anybody do this, but that's like an extra little grip yeah, yeah that's a little cool, grip isn't it? for the grab handle cool. very cool and then tell us a little bit about the warranty jay so your warranty on these you're going to have your typical it's going to be your one year bumper to bumper okay you're going to have a three-year structural and then of course on on your uh ceilings on on the top you're going to have a good 15 year warranty perfect cool. coming on down the side thanks sir oh look at this we do have a tv on the outside very nice lg And then coming on down, look at these tires, Will. They're the Westlakes. They're the 215-75R17.5. And you do have the Lipper components, Road Armor, Trail Air suspension right there. Wow, check this storage That's out. That's insane. This storage is absolutely amazing. Oh, man, we're going to miss the best part. 
Is there like big storage underneath yeah, there? Yeah, there is. You've got the tray. We can open it up. Watch your, don't roll your ankle, Will. I won't. How, doors held up by magnet. Magnetic. So you've got the big, huge slide tray. Okay. Uh, the extra chairs, extra chairs, of course, go in there, laying here. Um, 10 foot long, I mean. That's awesome. It makes tons it very of storage. Easy, very easy to store, very easy to retrieve what you put in, even if it's in the front. Okay. You want to walk around to the other yep. side? Yep. Cool. So, coming on down the driver's side, right there, 50 amp power cord with an electric reel. This is the other side of that storage. Very nice. Oops, very nice. Sorry, behind you. Sorry, Will. Very nice storage. Yeah. And then Jay, is there anything else cool going on out here? Oh, absolutely. All of your beacons, you can see your three slides, all come standard with a slide top. Wow. Nice. Very nice. Where are we dumping our tanks? Right here, I all think. All right. That's a good spot. Yes. Nice big water heater here. And then Jay, to wrap it up, what do we got right there? You, you've got about everything you're going to need on the unit. Um, water inlet. Filtration, of course, it's a Van Lee. Uh, auto dumps for your gray tank, your black tank. That's cool. Very nice. Your tank flush, which naturally all these newer units are coming with that now. Yep. Oh, yeah. And uh, your hot water bypass. Perfect. And then there's the other side of that storage. And another propane tank. Your secondary 30 pound LP tank. Cool. Well, well, the outside of the Van Lee looks great, but I'm telling you, it is the inside that looks even better. Jay, let's go take a look. All right. There you go. Check out the inside wall, start up front, and then we'll head to the back. Okay. All right, up front, we got the bedroom up here. Oh, yeah. Bathroom in the middle here. Center kitchen, right here, and then all the way in the back is the living area. Wow. So Jay, what can you tell us a little bit about how Van Lee does their interiors? Uh, the interior on this unit, as you can see, is it's awesome. I mean, yes. It's just like being at home. So up here, up front, if you're somewhere scenic, you've got the TV on the televator. Yes, sir. If you've got a beautiful view, take it down and enjoy it. Got pop-up AC outlet, USB. That's tower of power, Jay. That's Ab tower of power. Absolutely. Uh, Furion CD, DVD yes. player. Yes. Built in with the TV. We're gonna show everything. A little bit more storage there. And then underneath there, there is a fireplace. What is nice about that, it produces heat from electricity. And we have your slow rise daytime shades and privacy nice. shades. A little bit about the furniture. So your furniture on here, this is an imported fabric that okay. Van Lee does bring in. Um, this is a trifold sleeper, another trifold sleeper, all power um, seats here, uh, heat, massage, USB plug-ins. Wow. So you don't have to get up unless you just want to. Oh. Well, Jay, that sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> you got your cup holder here. You have your lighting control right here. So if you are about to start a movie, you can just turn all the lights off. Look at the valances, Will, around right. all the windows. All wood. Yes, sir. And it looks like we got a little bit of storage right in here. Cool. Perfect. Oh, we will put that out in a little bit when Jay's gone, because we appreciate your time. Anything else special about this living room area? So, in the living room area, you can see the wood features. Yes. As well as the kitchen, the bedroom. Van Lee has their own internal. They do all their woodwork in-house. Okay. From the raw wood to what you see here, the finished product. It's just what Tiffin does. And it, for those of you don't, who yes. don't know, uh, Van Lee is a subdivision Division. off Tiffin? Tiffin. Perfect. So yeah. Bob, Bob Tiffin, uh, Van is his son. Okay. He is his grandson. There you go. Cool. Let's take a look at this uh, kitchen there. Oh, here's Bob Tiffin right here. <laughs> Bob Lee and Van Tiffin. Very nice. There you go. And this just shows some of the uh, exterior color options, handcrafted, everything. The GoPro. There we go. Yep. Very nice. And then this is something that I really do love, Lee. Look at the slide out. How is the flush floor? There's no carpet. You There's no step up. 
I called you Lee. Goodness gracious, <laughs> Jay. I'm getting it all confused. It's been a long week, guys, uh, but I love this. And then, if you don't mind sitting at the dinette, look at how big it, you know what it is? What? It's a narrower table. Oh, you're right. I like that, though. I like it. It's, you know, big boy tested, big boy approved. We got plenty of space here. Again, with the three windows all the way around and everything. Well, Jay, do you know what time it is? Time to go, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this beast is $162,221 MSRP. Now, Jay, you sold this one, right? Correct. Did you sell it for one sixty-two? No, sir. You sold for a lot less than that? Yes, sir. So if you're interested in this unit, make sure you guys call Carolina Coach. We have the extension right here. Or what's, we have the phone number right here. And what's your extension number? You can reach me at 232. 232. Ask for Jay. He's here to help you. Or if you guys want to send us an email, just go to mattsrvreviews.com. Click that first contact tab. Let us know you're interested in a Van Lee Beacon. And we're going to hook you up with one of our nationwide network of dealerships. doesn't matter if you live in Maine, Florida, or California. We have a dealership close to you. Will, let's continue the video. All right. Nice tall cabinet tray. I love this. Yes, All sir. All the shelves and everything built in. Beautiful backsplash here. You can tell this is hand laid. Yes. Uh, nice solid surface countertops here. Oh, it just it says that too. Hand laid. Residential hand laid. Uh, soft closed drawers. drawers. Yep. All soft close. A little bit of storage right there. Yes, sir. Soft close as well. Held by a magnet. Nice pantry right here. Pantry oh, space man, too. Yeah. Right there. And right there. Very nice. Um, right here, you have a, your, your nice residential fridge, and they did match the doors with the cabinetry as well. Do you know why they did that? It gives you more of a custom look. Okay, very nice. I like it. Yeah. And that is what you call Higher a custom end, fridge. Nicer. Yeah. Very nice. And of course, your freezer down below right there. Wow. Coming along the side here got more storage on both sides of the microwave yes this is a nice big convection microwave right here very nice nice big window here on your cooking side letting some natural light and again beautiful backsplash here mm -hmm. um, I love these ovens and ranges nice big insignia four burner residential cooktop and oven turkey tested turkey approved yes sir look at all this storage space right here yes. as well and then a couple more drawers right here. Very nice. Right behind me, soft, uh, yeah, we already said that, soft closed cabinetry. So I guess this is kind of designed for a TV or a, maybe not a TV, but a coffee bar yeah. or something like that. Crock pot, coffee bar. Yeah. This is residential for sure. That's right. Jay, is that another fridge? That is another fridge. What's that for? Well, sometimes people get thirsty. Yes, sir, they get thirsty. <laughs> easy access. That's, That's America right, right there couple drawers mm -hmm. here and then some storage there very nice then you have this nice big kitchen island right here you have a little spray faucet nice single bowl sink with the cover nice big one farmhouse style and everything um and then a little bit of storage underneath yes some power right here and again a couple more drawers anything there. you want to comment on with the kitchen uh, not with the kitchen. I mean, this is what you would expect to see at home. And yes. again, this kind of ties in with Van Lee's philosophy of take home with you. Yes, sir. So how many ACs? Is it three? Three AC units? Yes, sir. Yeah, all whisper quiet. Yeah. You don't even see the unit or anything. So yeah, and this, got... this, this area looks real nice. Yeah. Great. Thanks so much, Jay. Jay actually had to go help a customer. Yes. So uh, we appreciate him, you know, giving us whatever time that he did have. Listen, guy, the RV industry is crazy right now. So anytime somebody can give us their words of wisdom, we appreciate. Yep. Now it's on time for the bathroom. All right. I have high hopes here. For those of you who don't know, uh, Will is six foot three. Yeah. Very nice head height here. Yes. Um, good whip. You know, this is always a little narrow, but. You know, it's average. It's a nice one-piece fiberglass shower. Yep, nice teak seat. And look, they give you a little fiberglass repair. So that's pretty cool. In case nice. You, like, damage it or something. Yeah. So, yeah, this definitely passes. Right over here, we got a little bit of storage right there. Very nice. Nice. Touch um, up. Yep, touch up there. Not touch up. Well, what that was touch this? up paint. Yeah. yeah. 
But uh, solid surface countertops there. I like they do that in the bathroom. Yes, sir. A lot of times they don't. Porcelain. Well, I don't even know why I had to sit down. This is definitely a prime poop position. Nice. Ding. Very nice. Look at it. Is that a bidet type thing? Uh, no, it helps get like the, clean. Yeah, Push. sometimes. Some will. When a man eats Tijuana flats, <laughs> sometimes it needs some extra water. Okay. And then finishing up with the bedroom here. Wow, nice king size bed. Very nice looking mattress. I love the headboard and the side windows. Something that I really like, I'll mention it a little in just a few minutes, but there's something that I really do like about this bed. Okay. Right over here, we do have the TV. LG, nice drawers right here. Very nice. As um, as Jay was saying, you know, very residential feel. Wash your dryer prep right there. Stackable. Preparation, stackable. Yes, sir. Very nice. And then this right here, it's just more storage right there. Very I love nice. it. There is tons of storage in this thing and a ton of space. And there was is USB on the sides right there okay. for you to charge your phones. Cool. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. That's the family beacon. We finally found one. And as nice as it is, Will, and as great as it is, you know the rules. Yes. It's now time to give you three things we love about the Van Lee and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Um, I wouldn't normally say this, but I feel like you have a dislike in here. So should we start with that? I actually don't. I have a like in here, but you said dislikes. Oh, no, that's so, what I meant. I felt like you had a like in here. Oh, I do have a like okay, in here. Okay, yep, so let's start with the likes. Okay, we're going to start with the likes. Okay. Yes, okay. Will, I almost caught you in a conundrum <laughs> there. First like for me, being a short fella, I love how low the bed is. Good point, yeah. It makes it very easy to crawl in and crawl out of the bed. So many times in fifth wheels and trailers and motorhomes, they have the bed dang near up to my waist and my belly button, and I need a step ladder just to cr climb into the bed. Right. I love the king size bed. I love the mattress style, and I just love how um big it is or okay. how low it is. That's number one. Mine's outside. Do you want to do yours? Yeah. Inside well, first? then I'll go on number two. Okay. My like and dislike are outside. So. Oh well, then that's the one we'll finish with. Okay. Uh, like number two, Will. I'm gonna talk about uh the whole what what he was saying with like the van lead. This is very residential. Yes. I can definitely see parking this and living in this. I can see traveling and living in this. This unit is actually, it's my like and dislike as well. The, the cabinetry, the woodwork, everything is absolutely beautiful in here. And you can 100% tell the quality. That's number two. And then well, number three. All right, let's go on out. So this floor plan is a very awkward one um, on your passenger side. Okay. It, because of these slides. Um, but I like that they didn't use that as an excuse and still put that second awning up. Yeah, great I get job. It, it, it's weird, you know, with the slide here and the slide here. Yep, yep. Um, but that awning is just too small. And I know this awning is small too, but I'd rather have two small than, you know, what a lot of others do and do one small. Yep, so. exactly. Cool. We're, Great, so that's three things we don't like about yes. it. Well, now it's time for three things we love about this fifth wheel. Okay, I'm gonna go first. Go ahead. And you might oh, I think you're a thief. Uh-oh. I think you're a thief. I hate that ladder, especially yes. on this unit. There's no reason to have, I get it on the toy haulers. Yes. There's no reason to have that ladder on there. Yeah, so one, I couldn't climb up there because yes. the way it was parked. Two, if this was, a beautiful flat surface i wouldn't have climbed up on the roof I, I hate that ladder and will you definitely stole one of mine sorry that is number one well number two okay you ready for this yeah we're gonna comment on what i liked on the inside uh oh so number two will was this residential look and feel yes so you guys are saying but matt you said that's what you liked about it you guys ready for this we had to fact check that sixteen thousand five hundred pounds right driving. That is incredibly heavy for a fifth wheel. The reason why quality equals weight. You know what I'm saying? Right. So many people, I, you know, I have a rule of thumb. Two axles means 2,500. Three axles mean 3,500. That rule just went out the window right. because you 100% need a dually for this. Absolutely. You know, so um, it's just a very heavy fifth wheel. 
in some that everybody who's towing one of these or if you're driving down the road and you see somebody in a 2500 pulling one of these yeah you're gonna want to be careful about yeah, so that's number way. two <laughs> well do you have a number three because i do have a third no i don't so go ahead okay you ready yeah where are uh, we going i'm about to be petty we're going to the bathroom brother. okay we're going to the bathroom okay for what this fifth wheel is for how bathroom. well they designed it small bathroom and the showers kind of elementary right there's no like they didn't even do the like the nice tile shower. look you yep. know what i mean yeah it's just very plain very plain jane it was a prime poop position but again for how big this fifth wheel is for how spacious this fifth wheel is and the i feel line. like they just in a way took a shortcut on a uh, on the bathroom yes but again if you had to take a shortcut on anything the bathroom is the best place because overall the living room the kitchen the bedrooms all beautiful right well well that's it that's a review thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and thanks to carolina coach in north carolina and thanks to jay for helping us again today again if you guys want to buy this or you have any questions go to mattsrvreviews.com and click that first contact tab we're going to put you in contact with carolina coach or the closest dealership in our network of dealerships nationwide that sells this product and we're going to make sure that you get phenomenal deal and phenomenal service will is there anything you'd like to say of course all right guys thanks so much for watching i mean tiffin builds great units overall um, i love their beacons i think they're, they're beautiful and i think you know many people like them so make sure to leave down in the comments below let us know three things you like and three things you dislike make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching yes. and will we'll see you next time